Hello everyone, my name is Lucy. Welcome to my channel, Simple Sunday Afternoons. And thanks for watching. In today's video recipe, I'm going to be making some fried green plantains, what is called tostones in Puerto Rico. And then I'm going to be stuffing them with a stew made of salted dry cut fish, which is called bacalao. You can serve this dish as a side dish, as an appetizer, or simply as your main course. So please join me in my kitchen to make this delicious dish. It's called tostones rellenos con bacalao. I am making one plantain for each person serving and I'm cutting the plantains in about three or four pieces and I'm soaking them for about 15 minutes in salted water. Each piece is about two inches long. And today I'm using this specially made tostonera which I found in the supermarket. It will make a little cup out of the fried plantain. Or we can use the regular kind which will make the flat toston or tostones. I have about three cups of vegetable oil for frying. One pound or 490 grams of cooked cut fish. And these have been already cooked, unsalted and shredded. And I saved about one half of a cup of water from the water where the cut fish was cooking. I cut one small potatoes in tiny small pieces. And I cut them in tiny pieces so it can cook faster. And this is one small onion cut in small tiny little pieces also. One quarter of a cup or 40 grams of red bell pepper. Or you can use the sweet red pepper. 2 tablespoons or 30 grams of tomato paste 1 tablespoon or 2 grams of fresh dry oregano 1 tablespoon or 3 grams of fresh dry parsley 2 tablespoons or 4 grams of chopped culantro 1 tablespoon or 15 milliliters of cooking white wine or cooking white wine vinegar. Four mashed garlic cloves. And this is the culantro I'm referring to. The long leaf culantro. First, in a small amount of olive oil, I'm going to saute the onion until they are transparent. Then I'm adding the red bell pepper. Follow by the parsley, the oregano, and the culantro. Then I'm adding the tomato paste. I'm adding just a small amount of the salted reserved water from the codfish when it was cooking. This water is salted and it has a special flavor from the fish. 
Then I'm adding the potatoes. As I mix, I'm adding an additional amount of water. Now I'm going to add the catfish. And there is a lot of variation of codfish, so you cannot tell exactly how to cook the codfish and be the right recipe. All I can tell you is to soak the codfish, whichever you have, overnight, and then put it to boil for about 40 to 60 minutes, and change the water once or twice, just to make sure you have removed all of the salt and also if you have options to purchase your catfish buy it without the bones I'm going to add about one tablespoon of ground black pepper which I didn't mention before and also about one tablespoon of paprika and these two last ingredients are completely optional. And now I'm going to cover, lower the temperature to low, and let it cook for about 20 minutes. In the meantime, I'm going to be preparing the green plantains by frying the tostones. Tostones have to be fried twice. First, when you cut them, you have to fry them until the center is tender. Then we smash them and fry them again to make them crispy. And right now I'm frying at high temperature. If I notice the plantains are getting brown too fast before the center is completely tender, then I lower the temperature to medium. You can tell they are done when the outside is golden brown or golden yellow. Now I'm going to smash them forming a little cup with my specially made tostonera. As I mentioned you can use the regular kind or you can use two small plates to smash them. When I learned to cook, all I used was a paper bag to smash the toston, and I would smash them the thickness I really wanted them to be. Now we have specially made devices that will make our job easier. Once we have all of the tostones made, then we fry them again to make them crispy in the outside. And it will take maybe two minutes for the toston to fry. They should come out nice and crispy. And I have made a special sauce to top the tostones once I complete filling them. This is equal parts of ketchup with mayonnaise. Mix well and I added some drops of hot sauce. And that's it. Just like that we have a delicious sauce. Once you take out the tostones from the frying pan, sprinkle them with a little salt while they are still hot. And while they are still hot, we're going to fill them with the codfish. Just put about one tablespoon in the center of the toston. It doesn't matter if you're using the cup or you're using the flat tostones. It will taste the same, just as good. And then just top it with a special sauce. And really you can do this recipe with any kind of ground meat. 
and I really hope you like this recipe and if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not done so it's completely free and that way you can receive my emails every time I release a new video which is usually once a week I hope to see you next time and thanks for watching